the king of all kings, AMNH5027. This is the Tyrannosaurus that started it all. That's a cast on the skeleton, but at the bottom right is the original skull. This animal turned heads when it was mounted. This was the first Tyrannosaur mounted. That is the real specimen. Most of that specimen consists of original bone. And what's cool is they've labeled the bones. So if you're a, a budding researcher, you can stare at it for hours and learn the skull anatomy from one of the better preserved skulls. That line of people behind it is for selfies. I got in that line too. It makes shooting videos of this animal tough because it is a huge draw in the crowd of really neat specimens. But the giant skull behind it with the skeleton just is imposing. There I am for scale, just a huge animal and it deserves all of the accolades. In the background, you just saw a juvenile Gorgosaurus. It's puny in comparison. I love this skull. It's actually, I call it dolly because one side is melted versus the other thanks to deformation. And that reminds me of his persistence of memory paintings. You can see that quite nicely. The left versus right side are different. This is the original drawing, how they wanted to mount it. And it was mounted this way for many, many years. This is the second paper. And this appeared in the third paper. The world finally got to see the skull. And then they went ahead and remounted it with uh, the modern pose in the 90s. But this is how it was originally posed, that long tail dragging on the ground. They had planned to mount two of them fighting, but they didn't have room. There's the post-cranial.